prison. Traffic is slowly getting back to normal along Nellis, a desert inn after a sinkhole opened there on Friday. And this is a big one we're talking about. Uh, the cause was a broken water line under the street, and crews worked all weekend to fix the problem. But now some people are asking, could this kind of thing happen in my neighborhood? News 3's Denise Rosh is live at the scene now. Denise, we don't hear about this kind of thing very often around here. Yes, yeah, Sue, and one reason is our city isn't that old, so our pipes aren't either. Now, behind me, some good news. You can see two travel lanes northbound on Nellis are now open. The real issue is still over on Desert Inn. And while this shows not all accidents can be prevented, workers at the Las Vegas Valley Water District sure are trying. Drive anywhere in the city limits, and you're bound to see them. Picks up vibrations in the pipe. Inspectors with the Las Vegas Valley Water District checking for leaks along the underground system. For Richard Budessa and Michael Raison, Sahara Avenue is their current assignment. If it starts to show that the, this sound wave is being absorbed by the pipe wall, we can tell that a, a large percentage well, the pipe may be degraded and may need to be replaced. But despite the utility's very proactive approach, not all pipe failures can be predicted. We have 4,600 miles of pipeline we watch. Which is exactly what happened on Friday when a sinkhole appeared at Nellis and Desert Inn, swallowing an unsuspecting motorist. And that car just drove right into the sinkhole. According to Director of Operations Kevin Fisher, the 24-inch line broke nearly 20 feet below ground. We had to open up a really big hole to make sure that we got good dirt, good soil in there for compaction. And uh, our utility was very deep. So in doing that, to keep our crews safe from working, we had to go very deep and had to pull back the soil away from the sides. So that's what took a lot of the time. Today, repairs are wrapping up and the road is being repaved. But Fisher says water crews will be in the area for a few more days, making some final adjustments. We have an asset management program with uh, seven or eight engineers, um, and they go out and we do assessments on all of our pipelines. And as they get older, we try to find out where are they in their life cycle. And while failures of this size are relatively uncommon, they do happen. In the summer of 2004, this sinkhole opened up on Paradise near Flamingo. Again, an underground break was the cause. Still, Fisher believes water customers should have faith in the system. On the International Leak Index, there's actually a process for evaluating systems. Uh, we are just one point away from being considered world class. So we really do try to watch it, and some of that is due to the, we're a new system. And one other safety concern out here, there is an elementary school just east of this intersection, apparently a year-round school, because late this afternoon we saw the crossing guard helping students try to maneuver around the construction, potentially very dangerous for them, and just one more reason why crews really want to wrap this up quickly. Reporting live at Nellis and DI, I'm Denise Rosh for News 3. Sue, back to you in the studio. All right, Denise, thank you very much. And as Denise mentioned, that sinkhole has been causing...